Welcome to Huntsville, Texas, and Elliott T. Bowers Stadium, home to the Bearcats of Sam Houston State, who have built a rich winning legacy and one that they hope follows them to the upper reaches of college football. Today, these two squads square off in a Conference USA showdown. As we'll see, the Liberty Flames taking on the Sam Houston Bearcats. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. The Flames will put total leather and will get started. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Bearcats' offense takes the field for the first time today. When your quarterback takes the field, you want him to look just like this guy, exuding confidence. Yeah, the it factor. He's the man. Nobody questions it. Everybody on this team knows they've got his back, and he's the leader. Everybody in this stadium also knows the offense goes as this guy goes. He has got to play well today. Now that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He'll do it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Really, really nice football play. Man, I got to understand option football. I got to play my responsibility, make sure that I know what I'm doing. Look at the linebacker. Great job doing that. Staying patient, getting to the quarterback, making the big tackle. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Going over the top. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. The Bearcats will bring the punt team onto the field. A quick three and out, and they're already giving up the ball. Surprisingly makes a fair catch just outside the 40-yard line. The Flames offense will go to work for the first time today. On first down, here comes this offense. Running back searching for a hole. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground. Take away that run game. Make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Right back to it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You know, if you want to run the ball up the middle, you're going to have to block that guy. I mean, nobody even touched him, and he slanted right into the backfield, made the tackle for loss. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. He'll try to pop the draw. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And the Flames will punt it away on fourth down. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. Looking for a block. It's Allen. Was looking for more running room, but found nothing but more tacklers. He's down at the 24. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Just enough there to get it to the 25, a pickup of two. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Looking to throw, it's Watson. Makes the grab. Makes the catch, and he's brought down. 
You know, sometimes even a short game like that can be used to set up something bigger later on. No doubt, Reese. They can pump that and take a shot down the field. And don't worry, they're going to go back to that same play because they know this guy with the ball in his hands is dangerous. He makes one guy miss. He can take it to the house. He's looking to throw on third and short. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. The screen, by definition, is slow developing. That was just a little too slow. Yeah, quarterback just held on to it a split second too long. You want to invite the rush to you as a quarterback when you're executing that play, but you've got to be able to get rid of it, and you've got to be able to negotiate the rush and somehow, some way, find a way to get that receiver or running back the ball in his hands, and the QB couldn't get it done Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. Liberty takes over, and the Flames offense ready to go to work. He'll keep it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, they were trying to set up the option, but the quarterback had no chance. Did you see the defensive tackle penetrate? What a great first step. He shot right through the offensive line and got the TFL. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. They'll run it from the gun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. And the running game has gone in the wrong direction. The offense tries to turn it around and go forward on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. He'll pull it down. At the 40, there he goes. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. This is why everybody grows up and wants to be an offensive coordinator and not a defensive coordinator, because he can do that. He drops back, he's supposed to pass, but you know what? I'll just scramble around, and I'll, I'll just go get plenty of yards and pick him up and put him down, and I'm faster than most of your other guys, too, so good luck stopping him. He'll bring it back. It's Allen. They'll get him corralled and down at about the 19-yard line. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. From the gun, the running back has it. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. From the gun. Give on the inside. A collision, and he stopped at the 27 after picking up one. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding him the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. quarterback on the keeper he's going to have enough to pick up the first down as they stop him at the 33 yard line such an advantage when you have an athletic quarterback today in college football because they can help you move the sticks with their legs great open field running ability by this QB and the Bearcats will snap it on first and 10 the inside handoff just willed his way for a couple out to the 35. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They've been running it, but now the pass. Pulls it in. It's Evans. Good pick up there as he gets the first down, and they'll mark him at the 48. What we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a rhythm. The Bearcats are rolling down the field. The give to the back. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. 
Nice run there on first down. You know this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. They'll keep it on the ground. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. This feels like four down territory, third and short from the 40. Looking for a man, it's Watson. Finds his big tight end. Well, they were counting on winning the one-on-one -on -one battle. They got the completion, but the yardage didn't work out. Yeah, and a lot of times, man, that's what I do on short yardage situation. Third and short, make my guy fall forward for a couple yards, try to get the first down, but it was a good tackle, and the receiver got absolutely nowhere after the catch. So they're going to send out the field goal unit to try a long one. 57 yards out, and he powers it through the upright. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg, 50-plus, and he did it with ease. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. On the move. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. I like the poise by the quarterback on that play, too, because a lot of times, as a quarterback, you see the blitz coming, and immediately you want to audible, you want to try to throw the ball, but he knew that he had a good run play called, and he knew he could leave it on. Heads up play by the QB. Nine yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Throws to the wide out. Got him downfield. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Nice job there by the receiver on the out route, not telegraphing where he's going. He can't be peeking to the outside, giving the defender an opportunity to break on the ball. He kept his eyes right down the field. DB had no idea where he was going, and that helped make that completion a whole lot easier. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Here comes the option. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And that seemed a little off from the start, didn't it? That was a big-time play, and it was off from the start because of the play he made. And I don't think it would have mattered who was playing running back. There was absolutely nowhere to go. Now facing a third and long. To the air. It's Salter getting some heat. Going for the big play. He's got it. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Flames. Well, as a defense, you know you're going to see the go route, especially against this guy. He does it to defenses, it seems, every single week, and so they're not able to get back deep enough. They get run by, he makes the catch, and then runs it into the end zone. They're going to have to change up their coverage and get some safety help up over the top because this guy's speed is a problem. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 7-3. to three. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the final 53 yards coming courtesy of that touchdown pass. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. On the move from inside is five. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. 
The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. And listen, important is a relative term. We need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. They just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker who is so important to this team. The give out of the gun. Didn't get much done on that, Ryan. He'll fight his way out and maybe, maybe pick up a yard. If you're going to stop the run game, you better be physical up front on the defensive line. They've got some maulers. They've got some dudes with bad intentions. Nice play there. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Looking for a man. It's Watson. Throws to the tight end. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. Hey, man, if you're going to force incompletions when the QB's thrown to the tight end, you better be physical. Nice job with the hit, forcing that incompletion. Third down conversions, always a huge stat. And they've got a third and long from the 27. From the gun, wants to pass. And they can't make the play on third down. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. The Bearcats send out the punt unit. He'll be content with the field position, making the fair catch right around the 30-yard line. Liberty takes over, and the Flames offense ready to go to work. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. It's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Pollock. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The play action fake. Quickly to the tight end. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Well, this tight end, he's got size and he's got some athleticism. And he's very difficult to cover one on one. Defense is going to have their hands full with him today. Third down coming up after the completion. Wants to throw. It's Salter. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. Not seeing a lot of chemistry between the QB and his intended target on that play. Back to work on second and ten from the 41 after that last incompletion. Option look. It's Salter. And he probably should have just handed that one off. He has snowed under in the backfield. I just love the individual one-on-one -on -one effort by the defense there. Offense trying to go option, QB keeps it, but just too many defenders winning their one-on-one -on -one battles, defeating blocks, and getting the tackle for loss. They've got some work to do on this third and long from the 40. From the gun, wants to pass. Wide open downfield. And he'll ramble to the 34 before he's finally knocked down. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. The Flames are moving quickly down the field. They'll run the option. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five.
try to overcome that last play on second and 15. Handoff from the gun. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. Still looking on the move. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. that is the final play of the quarter and guys liberty has the lead here we put one in the books let's have a look at our game summary they are lined up and ready to go and get things started here in the second now on fourth down they'll send out the field goal unit it's good So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. And he's coming out of the end zone. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. He's going to throw deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Man, that would have been a big hitter if they could have done it, but second down coming. Really nice play by the defender, being in a good position for that deep ball down the field, not letting the receiver put his big body on him, go up over top. The only thing that could have been better is that thing tipped to another defender, and it was an interception, but great coverage by the defender. He'll pull it on the read. Across the 25, he's got room. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. He's got it on the right, and he won't. White get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. This offense is just so dynamic because they've got playmakers at all the skill positions, right? We just saw a big play in the running game. Now we see one in the passing game. There's not one dude that you can key on here if you're on defense to try and slow them down. Quick release on the RPO, and this one will be stopped for no gain really good defense you know you're trying to stay as close as you can to all these targets and most importantly those open field tackles and getting them on the ground as soon as they catch it that's a major deal for defenses and that was a good example there of it they'll go to the air on third and short caught over the middle it's Humphreys that'll get the job done and move the chains and they'll mark the ball at the 45 and it's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. And the Bearcats want to move quickly. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And it's a great play by the defensive end. The most athletic players on the field play defensive end. Yes, you heard me, Jess, Reese, exactly what I said. Great get off, great job getting in the backfield, making the play. Last play was a near disaster, now dealing with second and 13. Off the play fake. 
Now adjusting. He turns this into a nice game and gets down to avoid the hit. Defense trying to come up with a stop on third and short from the 37. He'll do it himself. Just what they'd hoped for on third down as they've got a first at the 32. How great is it to be an offensive coordinator having a quarterback like this? Because he can go and generate first downs with you, throwing the ball and running the ball. It seems like there's nothing this kid can't do. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and ten. Back to throw. It's Watson. He's got his man. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. They'll line up for a second down play. Trying play action. Got it behind the line. It's Garza. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Must be nice for this quarterback knowing he's got this type of athlete playing the tight end position. They can work the middle of the field for him. He's a guy who can stretch it vertically as well, but this is a guy the QB will look for early and often in this game. Five yards away from another third down conversion on this drive. They're already two for two. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. After the earlier field goal, they'll try again, this time a 43-yard attempt. It is! So after the last drive, ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. From inside the 10, here he comes. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. Quickly complete. At the 35, he's open. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. They built this offense around finding mismatches and just get the ball to the back and let him do his thing. Yeah, it, it didn't have to be long down the field. I like it through it right near the line of scrimmage, but you know I got a guy, when he gets in space, he can make big plays happen. Nice decision by the QB. Open the drive with a chunk play out past the 40, and they are in business on first down. They think there's room to run to the right here. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around and make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense creating the tackle for a loss on first down. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Dropping back, it's Salter. Hines is back in the middle. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. And running backs who can add to the passing game, they can be so dangerous because once they get the catch, they're operating in much more open space than they would be on a handoff. And it really also tests the linebackers' coverage ability and those DBs' tackling ability. It'll be a run on third and short. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves the change for the first down. And that is exactly why you stick to running the football. Haven't had a lot of success, but boom, you pop one, right? That's what you got to do. You got, you cannot become one-dimensional and just throw the football every down. Love the offense sticking to the run. Nice job getting the first down. Might as well give it to him again. 
again, excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. And the Flames have it with a first and ten. Used to play fake, now to throw. Unloads to the wideout. And the ball is picked off. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. I'll tell you what, defensive players don't always see where the ball is. They see the receiver and they get to chase him, but really good job seeing where the receiver is, going and making an interception, making a big play, getting the ball back to your offense. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field goal. I think if you want to take the next step two here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. To the air, it's Watson. Fires left. He's got it. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. They're running the curl route against zone coverage. The quarterback knows that's going to be a tight window. He's got to rifle that ball into his wide receiver. He does just that, and as a result, they pick up the first down. This offense will snap it from the 42 on first and 10. Used to play fake, now to throw. It's complete. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. Well, it's a nice job, too, the quarterback after the play fake there, getting his eyes down the field. He had to get that to his tight end quickly, knowing he wasn't going to have a lot of space to run with after the catch. It's first and ten from the 44-yard line. He's looking to throw it. Swings it out to the flat. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football. They play wide receiver basically for you. But you got to find a guy that you can throw it to. And you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. Picked up some yardage with that completion. Now second down. They're going to throw it again. That's reeled in. It's Smith. Oh, the ball's on the ground. And the ball is going to land out of bounds. They'll maintain possession and pick up a few yards in the process. And it looks as if they buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence, and the officials will change the call. They're going to try to throw for it on third down. Great job by the defense there. They weren't surprised by that play call there on third and short. They were expecting pass. They took everything away and forced the incompletion. So here comes the field goal unit. They've been doing work today. They've already made a couple. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. What a disappointment. No good. And it is still a four-point deficit. Liberty takes over, and the Flames offense ready to go to work. That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you've got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win. And, David, they've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistakes. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him do his thing. On first and ten from the 38. They'll try the run. 
and he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run, then you open it up for the passing game. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Off the bootleg and rolling out. Time to take a shot. Snags it. He gets it in. Touchdown, Liberty. Speed kills this offense. They've got multiple guys that can burn you. And you can see it doesn't take them long to light up the scoreboard. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they cap it off with a 32-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. Coming out with it, it's Phillips. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails, drive the ball down the field, and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But, Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a higher level. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Right back to him on the ground. Just enough there to get it to the 25, a pickup of two. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. So they're facing third and short from the 25. To the air, it's Watson. He's going for a big play downfield. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. Third and short like that on your own side of the field, you're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls incomplete. And the Bearcats decide to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Fair catch, called for and made. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. And David Howe, they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. He wants to throw here on second down gets it out fast they make the stop right there good pickup it's still short of the first down nice job by this guy finding the slot guy on a drag yeah the receiver just working his way across the field giving his quarterback a nice easy target that's an easy completion ball is at the 42 yard line close to four down territory here's third and short they'll try to get it through the air fires to the wide out and the missed connection on third down. Really nice job by the defense, playing aggressive, understanding it could be a running situation, but still playing disciplined enough to play the pass and be successful on that third and short. The Flames line up to punt it away. Running it back to Allen. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. 
you ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge gain? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. Off the play fake on first down. Right down the middle. Lost the defense. He's wide open. And he was on his way, and they get him down at the 30. Uh, the old one gets an attaboy for that play. How about the time they gave their quarterback? Beautiful pocket. They allowed him to survey the field, find his open guy. This offensive line, they are gelling early. The Bearcats are in the hurry up. To the air on first down. And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. Really need to pick up some yardage this time on second and long. Back to throw, it's Watson. Fires to the big fella. Push down for the tackle. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open, because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. Here comes third and short from the 24, and this offense does not want to send out the field goal unit. Looking to throw. He makes the connection. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. They'll play it safe and send out the field goal unit. He needs to make sure those mechanics are pure from the right hash and 40 yards away. It's good. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Liberty takes over, and the Flames offense ready to go to work. Guys, it's been an entertaining first half, and not a lot of time left to put some more points on the board. No, but you got this possession right here to maybe go into the half tied up. So good first half, but a great way, Jesse, to end this first half. Yeah, you'd love to take that momentum into the second half. And listen, this offense practices two minute every single week for this exact situation. They'd love to be able to go generate a few more points before taking it into the locker room. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the hands. Man, he was open. He had an opportunity. He just got to look that thing. A lot of times guys are catching it, and as they're catching it, you see their head start to turn to try to think about getting upfield, and they just lose that concentration for a second. A little missed opportunity there for this offense. They're going to go to the air on third and short. A full dive to hold that one in. Man, that's a tough play to make. When you're that far down the field and you've, you're trying to control your body and run as you're laying out, that's a really great effort, really good concentration, and that is how you make your quarterback look really good. And the Flames with the first and ten. He wants to throw. Going back to the well, another deep ball. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. Let's see which way they go after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 39. 
Scanning the field, it's Salter. Dances away from the heat. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. These guys aren't human anymore. I mean, they got to survey the field, throw the football, make deep passes, and then guess what else? They pull the ball down, take off, and make big chunks of plays on the ground. It's just impossible to be on defense nowadays. Inside the 25, they'll snap it from the 24. First down. Throws to the wideout. Touchdown, Flames! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. That touchdown puts them up by at least two scores. Too early to say it's over? Probably, but boy, it's starting to feel that way. It might not be over, but you're in trouble, and you better find some answers really, really quickly. This team is putting everything together, and right now you got nothing going. Come on, give me something. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. And the play will stand after the replay booth just does a little double-checking to make sure. And with the extra point, they move on top by 15. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finished things up with a dart from 24 yards out. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. He'll bring it out. It's Phillips. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Comes out throwing on first down. Flushed out of the pocket. And the quarterback caught up two and sacked at the 12. And the offense sprung a big-time leak, and the quarterback went down. And when you're throwing the football, you're trying to stop the best athletes in the world from getting to your quarterback. They're going to get there. They're pinning their ears back. Get to the QB. Get the sack. One more snap coming before juice boxes and orange slices. Back to pass. It's Watson. Unloads to the wideout. Pulls it in. He'll be stopped at the 27, but it's a 15-yard gain. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, time for everyone to take a deep breath and digest what we just saw in Huntsville. It's been a fun start to this one. And this offense has really been the story. They've opened up a sizable lead. And unless something drastic changes, things might get even more out of hand. A combination of lethal efficiency. And that offensive line has been the key. They've mauled that defense and also just about broken their will. And with that, let's send it back to our team at Elliott T. Bowers Stadium. The Bearcats will line up to kick off and start the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. First play from scrimmage, and they'll keep it on the ground. And he's brought down after a nice game. In halftime in this locker room, there was a lot of positive things to talk about. You got the lead, but you know what else will be positive, Palmer? Get the running game going early in this second half. You're absolutely right here, and I think this coaching staff is going to try to put this game on the offensive line a little bit. Let these guys take this thing over, be physical, and push this defense around. Almost had the completion, just missed it. That QB catches the ball, throws the screen right now. Maybe have a little bit of space if he can get a block. And the receiver just absolutely drops it right on the money. Bad play. Listen, this is where I'm going to my receiver. Like, bro, it's all right. I got you. I believe in you. I'm going to feed you more opportunities later. To the air. It's Salter. Out of the backfield, he's open. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give him a first down. I like how this offense throws to their running backs in different areas of the field. It's not always going to be to the perimeter. It's not always going to be screens, but they can attack the middle of the field, too, using these angle routes. Nice play call. The Flames getting set on first and ten. Caught in the backfield. It's Copeland. 
And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short gain. Great effort by the defense here. Offense trying to go wide receiver screen. How about the speed on defense rounding to the football? Second down coming up. He wants to throw it again. Missed his receiver there. It's incomplete. They'll come to the line at the 42, facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Forced out of the pocket. Trying to make magic on the scramble. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. This quarterback doing a lot of good decision-making on that last play. First off, nice job extending, but then understanding what the coverage was, understanding nobody's open, and then going, hey, look, I can go get this myself, and finally, not only am I going to get this first down, I'm going to take care of myself, too. I'm going to slide. I practiced this all week. A little baseball slide action. we got a fresh set of bands. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they're trying to get that run play going to the outside, but it's the defensive end who does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one and forcing the negative play. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. They try to pop a run on the draw. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Dropping back, it's Salter. Now he's going to break the pocket. Third down conversions are huge, and they've got one, and they're at the 35. It's going to be tough on this defense containing this guy because he's got that sixth sense to get outside the pocket, and at that point, he's thrown it and hurting you, or you can take off and run. That time, able to get the first down. Big challenge for the defense moving forward. They're down to the 35 on first and 10. The RPO, it's complete. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Great play by the cornerback. He was just way too physical at the point of attack. He beat his man trying to block him, and he tackled that receiver on the screen. Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. Reads it, fires complete. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. And the Flames get enough for the first down. Pound it, pound it, pound it. I might not have that pretty run-pass ratio of 50-50, but if I can run the football like this consistently, if you're not going to do anything about it, you want to be a great offensive coordinator, keep calling the run. It's now first and 10 from the 24-yard line. Use the play fake now to throw. Looking to scramble. And he has a solid gain on the play before sliding. You know, QBs want to make those big plays. They want, to, they want to put up the big stats. But when nothing's there, sometimes you just tuck the ball, get a minimal gain. I like the slide, by the way, too. Get down and don't take a big hit. This defense just can't get off the field. The offense, unstoppable. They'll leave it with him. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. It's first and 10 from the 13. He'll keep it himself. Got enough space. Touchdown, Liberty. And the route is on. 
And these design QB runs, man, they really test the physicality of this defense. Knowing this quarterback's going to tote the rock, they know that there's now an extra blocker, so somebody on defense is going to have to make a superhuman effort, get off a block and make a play. They could not get that done right there. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive. And the capper came on the run to the end zone from the 13. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. But jet sweep pass. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to put, have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It Fires one high and deep. Catch inside the 25. And the tackle was made, but there has been a flag thrown. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. Looking to throw, it's Watson. Takes the easy one to the back. Makes the catch and knockdown. They're about to wear this punter out. He's already been out four times, staring at a fifth if they can't move the chains. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Makes the catch. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we get the first down. But nice job by the defense understanding where the sticks were and forcing the fourth down. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. Liberty takes over and the Flames offense ready to go to work. How about that blocking up front in that running game last time as they just walked it down for a touchdown, David? And the big boys up front doing their job. Opening holes, the backs making plays, everything on the ground on that first drive worked. And we know that this is the identity this coaching staff wants for this team, right? They want to be the most physical team on the field. Let's see if they can keep it up. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. They'll give it to the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Ball is at the 41 as this defense tries to force the punt on third and long. Here's a snap, ready to cut one loose. Just a little off. Incomplete third and long situation they try to go screen i think they were hoping it was going to be a big zone and they could get those offensive linemen down the field but the defense sniffed it out forcing the incompletion the flames will line up to punt it away he's getting a lot of work fourth time he's punted tonight on the move it's allen pretty solid coverage there and they'll stop him at the 26. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. 
So you get stuffed on first down, and now you have the offensive coordinator thinking a little bit. Yeah, we're probably going to have to throw it now in this second play. But what are we going to see defensively? Now that they know we're throwing, might they blitz us? Do I have to leave more guys in to block? There's a real cat and mouse game going on right now between these two coaching staffs. Makes a connection. And he's called most of that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. And works it to the 40-yard line. That'll be a first down. I don't need it to be pretty. I just need my inches. Third down and inches. Nice job by getting the first down. Always fall forward. Play physical. Don't get east and west. Stay north and south. Nice job by the running back. And the Bearcats come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll give it to him again. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Back to pass. It's Watson. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. That's a good decision by the quarterback. I know that's not going to come up on the stat sheet, but you're in the pocket. Nobody's open. Don't risk turning it over. Just throw it away. Some third down conversions tougher than others. This one, a long one on third down from the 43. From the gun, wants to pass. Got his man downfield. Turns it on down the left side. Touchdown, Bearcats! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. Oh, the offense shows some life here and cuts into the lead with that score. And, man, they needed it. They had to have something to go right. Listen, still down, but this is a great start to getting back in this ball game. Now the two-point conversion attempt is coming. Now the play fake. They're trying to get to it. They'll get the two-point conversion, and now the lead is 14. So that scoring drive took only six plays, and they finish it in style with a 57-yard toss for six. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. They still have the lead here, Jesse, but this would be a good time to know where to go, and the ball is loose. The offense somehow fell on it, and they'll retain possession. Well, ball security doesn't just apply to running backs and receivers. QB's got to keep two hands on the ball as well. And they're very lucky after that fumble that the offense jumped on. Hoping to find one that works this time on second down from the seven. Looking to throw, it's Salter. He looks that one in nicely. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Hey, who says hitch passes can't get big yards? Receiver catches it, makes a guy miss, and goes and gets a first down. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. From the gun, wants to pass. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? You know, my old offensive coordinator, Sean Payton, used to call that situation third in California. 
Not a lot of plays that you can dial up on the play sheet for that type of down and distance. It makes it so hard on the quarterback. They've got to do a better job of keeping these third downs managing. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. He gets a block. He was hoping for a little more running room, but they're able to get him down at the 45. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. The give on the inside. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. They'll run play action. Fires to the wideout. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Yeah, and he had an opportunity to make such a big play. Listen, he wasn't wide open with nobody around him, but you got to make that play. You got a little bit of space. You got to haul that in, make your quarterback look good, and make a big play for this offense. Throws to the wideout. And this is going to be incomplete on third. It's really tough to convert in third and long situations like that. Not a lot of play calls, and you're going to be going up against the coverage with a lot of dudes on the back end expecting pass. So they're going to have to do a better job the next time out keeping these third downs manageable. The Bearcats will punt this one away. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Liberty takes over and the Flames offense ready to go to work. Reading the option, it's Salter. And he's hit and taken down behind the line of scrimmage. Anytime you play this offense, the challenge is stopping this quarterback from running the ball. And you've already seen in this game, he's been able to break off a few runs and do some nice things. That time, though, the defense had his number and tackled him for a loss. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. The run from the shotgun. Not much he could do there. Does pick up two to the 34. Man, that D-tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back. Cat-like quickness. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Back to throw. It's Salter. They'll run the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard, and he's now over 300 yards on the day, so been a successful day. Now, 300 yards, I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? <laughs> that would have been 500. I would have won the Heisman, maybe. It's a big <laughs> deal today in college football, no doubt. Now, listen... He's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision-making. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. And guess what? This game is far from over. And the Flames are moving quickly down the field. He leaves it with the back. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. Might as well stick with him. Using that running game to bludgeon forward. He's got four down to the 35. And, you know, when we talk about great third down defenses, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second down. You've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long. So that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense. They'll try to run for it. Just what they'd hoped for on third down is they've got a first at the 32. And I just love when guys know exactly where the sticks are. You could tell, ran with purpose, finished through the sticks, and got just enough for the first down. And a nice job up front, too, right? Good communication. Everybody knew where they had to go. Hat on a hat, work the double teams, and get some push. Now he's looking to throw it. 
Just a short pass to the tight end. There to make the tackle, and with that, we'll head to the fourth quarter. We've been treated to an aerial show by these two guys so far as you check out their numbers. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. The Flames come to the line with a fresh set of downs. On the run, still looking. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. Listen, that's not going to go down as a big play, but he does a really good job turning a negative play into something positive. It's not a big game, but it keeps you out of those negative situations that really makes you very predictable. This drive has already drained more than three minutes off the clock, and now they've got it on second down. Tough running this deep in the red zone. He's got four down to the 11. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium? Hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Makes the catch. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. Well, this defense has given up some big plays in this game so far, but they've got a lot of talent on that side of the football. Someone has to step up here, make a play, get a stop, and put their team in a position to win. And after yet another third down conversion, they've got it first and goal. Trying to pound their way in. Touchdown, Flames! And they take it in for six more points. Follow the blockers. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time, Reese, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and, you know, slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. Didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. On to attempt the try. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up a full three touchdowns. A 21-point cushion in the fourth. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. Just into the end zone, and he'll bring it out. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. Looking for a productive play on first down. He's going to pass. Can't hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. Looking down the middle. A strike downfield. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Great job by the offense, being patient, understanding when they're in zone coverage, I got to hit those tight windows, make those precise passes to get those big plays. The Bearcats want to crank the tempo. Dropping back, it's Watson. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. At this point of the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass, and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. Back to the air one more time. And the pass is incomplete, but the flag flies, and there was a lot of early contact there. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. You simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. Going up top on first down. This time, he's got his man. 
That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. Well, it's a nice job by the defender. They're closing the gap with the wide receiver. They're going to complete the hitch pass, but he's able to run right up on him, get him to the ground for a minimal gain. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. He's looking to throw. Just goes right through the wicket and brings up third down. Man, he will be thinking about that one. They're trying to get their receiver on a drag route and work him through all the bodies and traffic, but there's just too much happening. I don't think he saw the throw real well, and it falls incomplete. Looking to pick up a first down on third and short from the 43. Looking to throw for it. And they can't make the connection on third down. Well, they take a shot down the field. It's another incompletion. It's really been that kind of story. This defense has made this guy earn it every single play. Really small windows to throw into. One touchdown pass. That's a little bit surprising. You thought maybe they'd have more in this game. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. It's incomplete, and the defense makes a stop and gets the football back. Quarterback on the keeper. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. And a nice solid pick up there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. I think he run that play on second down knowing it's going to make third down easier. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table, everything's available, high success rate. Third and short from the 49 is this four down territory. Trying to pick it up on the ground. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. You know, you start day one of training camp running your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. They're not sexy, they're not pretty, but in the end, they're effective, and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. Some early movement along the offensive line, and they'll walk it back. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Power football with the run. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. The back goes in motion. Looking to pass. It's Salter. Buying some time. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket. Nothing's open. And he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't. And he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. Off play action. Got his man quickly. And they stop him just short of the stick. It'll bring up a decision on fourth down. They'd hope to be able to pick up enough after the catch, but a good stop leaves them with a fourth and short. Really good job by the defense being physical, understanding the situation in the game. The ball's going to come out quick. You know that. Go make the tackle. Force the fourth down. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. And he missed it. No good. Missed the field goal, but still up by three touchdowns at 21 points. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. These last couple of drives, Jesse, have been about the defense making clutch stand. I think for this... Lofts one high and deep. He's got it inside the 25. Touchdown, Sam Houston. And once he got away from the D, they had no shot at catching. 
catching it. And I think in the pre-snap, I think both of these guys were on the same page. They had a look defensively that let them know we can pitch this thing way down the field. I'm going to go run under and make a big play for it. Yeah, and when I'm the receiver, I'm like, I'm open, right? I'm, I'm going straight down the field. Throw me the football. I got the speed. I can beat this guy. You can tell they've done that so much in practice. They knew it was second nature, and they executed it perfectly. He'll try to tack on one more. And it's up and good. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Finds his big tight end. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Nice quick throw there. It's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find a rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw. And you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here on game. Looking downfield, it's Salter. He'll take the deep shot. It's complete. A huge pickup. That is exactly what you want to do with the football. He's got it all the way down to the 15-yard line. Well, it really just feels like they are trying to make a statement to everybody in college football. They've got a lead. They've got it late, and they are still putting it on this defense. They are still letting it fly. They're airing it out, trying to light up this scoreboard. They say it's still a game of field position, and that last one just flipped this baby. They've got it first and ten in the red zone. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. Unloads to the wideout. Touchdown, Liberty! And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. And this offense continuing to put up points. This game's out of reach. You know you're going to win but still throwing the football, still finding that connection. I imagine there'll be some salty handshakes at the end of this game. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up a full three touchdowns. A 21-point cushion in the fourth. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. He'll come out throwing on first down. Using his feet to buy time. He's going to take off. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit. Those always sting a little bit. When you get so close to, to getting the QB to the ground, creating a negative play, and then all of a sudden he turns it into something positive, just really annoying as a defensive guy. And here comes the offense on second down. Looking downfield, it's Watson. Got his man down the middle. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. And when you run those drag routes, it just takes a little bit of know-how. And when I say that, the receiver's got to understand, find space. My quarterback's going to find me. He's looking for that space at the same time. Nice throw, nice catch. Way to get the first down. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Looking to move it through the air. Grabs it at the 25 in stride. And he just kept running, and he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. 
know, sometimes it's a play caller. You just don't have to overthink things. I've got a guy who's faster than your guys, and he's just going to run straight down the field. I'm going to throw it way down the field. He's going to make the catch, and we're going to score a touchdown, and that's pretty much what just happened there. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Splits those uprights right in half. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with a big play. 68 yards on the touchdown pass. They've got it down to a two-touchdown deficit, trailing by 14 and about to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Liberty takes over and the Flames offense ready to go to work. Looking to go up top on first down. He's right on target. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. I know a lot of people are going to look at that play and say, man, that was a bad play. Didn't gain any yards. But that could be the offense maybe setting something up. The play caller is going to remember that last play. He's going to remember how the defense reacted to it, made a quick tackle. They might pump that throw and then hit another player vertically down the field for an explosive play down the line. Just keep that in mind. They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the slot. Yeah, dude, get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up on a safety. Keep him away from the corners by putting him in the slot. Get him the football. Let him make plays. Big third down coming from their own 31. Defense tries to get off the field. Got his man in the middle. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. And you just get the feeling that this defense has to find a way to get off the field and get the football back at this juncture of the game, trailing late if they're going to win. And the Flames will have it first and ten. He's looking to throw it. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. That's a throw the QB would like to have back. He just has to do a better job giving his receiver a chance to make the catch. Here comes the offense on second down. Now on the option. Now the toss. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Ball spotted right at midfield as they try to convert third and short. To the ground to try to pick up the first. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Yeah, that's a really good job by the defense because when you get in that third and medium area, listen, you got to be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job playing bold. Got it stopped. Now forcing a fourth down. The Flames will try to pin them back with the punt. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the wideout. They've avoided the interception all day, but they're lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. Well, the defense has had enough of this, right? The quarterback's on a hot streak. The ball's not hitting the ground. And right there, they decide we are jumping one of these routes. We're going to try to get a pick. Almost came away with one there. Offense gets set for second down. To throw, it's Watson. Fires to the middle. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. Not many receivers like to get hit. They just don't, okay? They're prima donnas. That's what they are. That's who they are. Nice job by the defender. You could tell he was catching the football. He was going to put a hit on him to make sure he had to think about something later, and you could see the ball pop out and fall to the ground. Makes the grab. It's Humphreys. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. 
Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock. That is at a premium for this offense. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. He wants to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Smith. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. And no messing around right now if you're on offense. This is the time where execution has got to be at a premium. You need to hit completions, David. They need some big plays. Yeah, and you just want to keep pressuring them and keep making them use the clock, give them the underneath stuff. And again, when they drive the football down the field, I just can't give up touchdowns. The field goal at this point is not going to hurt my defense. Quick strike complete. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. And when you put him in the slot, Reese, he's closer to the quarterback. It's an easier throw. We can run in, we can run out, and really take advantage of his versatility of the guy in that slot position. The aerial assault continues. And his throw is incomplete. Ball's at the 47. They're looking at a third down and short. Looking to throw, it's Watson. Fires to the right. Another incompletion on third down. And this offense stays aggressive and they pass the football. I think you can always look back and say, third and short, I'd love for you to run it, be the more physical team. But nice job sticking up and bowing their necks for this defense. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. Starting to feel a little pressure. And he'll slide after picking up the first down. Man, what a scramble by the quarterback. Fourth quarter, need a play. Fourth down, he makes it happen. This home crowd is going nuts. We got a great one on our hands. And the Bearcats headed quickly to the line. Wants to throw on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Going to throw it to the right. He's got his man. Touchdown, Bearcats. And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. They got the score they needed, but this isn't over. No, don't call it a comeback yet. The first part, step one accomplished. But this offense obviously still has work to do. But the defense has to go out and get a stop and get him the ball back. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive, and they get it into the end zone on a 36-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff unit about to go to work. He'll start the return inside his five. Finds just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. I know exactly what I have to do here. Defensively, we got to get the stop. So we're playing run. We're selling out to run because we're thinking they're going to run the football. And we got three timeouts. Let's use them wisely. Look, let's use those timeouts, save as much clock as we can so our offense has some time on the clock to do some damage when they get the football back. Running back searching for a hole. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. Big third down play here. If they get a stop, you'll see an immediate timeout. The play-action fake. Throws to the wideout. It's caught. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. 
such a tough spot to be in on defense because you're trailing. You're expecting the offense to run the football. They just did it on the last play, and then on a critical third down, they go play action, and they throw it over your head. You've got to feel for this defense. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Yeah, it's make or break time for this defense now. they got to get a stop, and if that's bringing more bodies in, bringing more beef in, they're running the football right up the gut, right at you. They're not going to throw the football in this situation. Time to be more physical and get this big stop. He had all kinds of company as soon as he got it. He had to fight his way back just to get to the line of scrimmage. It's third down, and they have to get it to the 42 to move the sticks. The gift to the back. And how about that alertness and that swarming D to keep him from getting the first down? And the Flames will send out the punt unit. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. They'll throw it on first down. He's taking the deep shot. And it slips through his fingers. Incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Man, you know the defensive coordinator on that play was holding his breath because in the fourth quarter, you've got one of the fastest players in the game going deep on you. And that's going to be a helmet sticker for somebody. Like, forcing an incompletion against that guy? That's incredible. Looking for a man. It's Watson. Looking to the big tight end. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. Well, they've thrown two straight incompletions, and they, they just need to play pitch and catch on this next play. They're down a possession, and you don't have to necessarily get the first down right here, but if you don't get it, you've got to at least keep the fourth down manageable to give yourself an opportunity to keep pushing the ball down the field and give yourself a shot to run. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And the pressure will get there. The sack, down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. down a possession here in the fourth and they'll need to convert on this fourth down he'll go up top maybe a deciding play here he's taking a deep shot late in the game he's got it down the right side well they just drained all the suspense out of the fourth down conversion moving the chains easily how in the world could they let that happen and how in the world did they pull it off that was fourth in a mile and they got it i mean what a clutch play by this offense listen understanding a small throw is not going to get it done a deep ball down the field give yourself a chance to make a play and by gosh they do it Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. This late in the game, fourth quarter, go time. We got to make plays. We got to go to those things that really, really work well. We can't waste too many more downs. I know it's third down coming up. Well, we got to put this thing in full throttle. This drive was clicking along, but after a couple of misfires, threatening to stall out on third and ten. Trying to get behind the defense. Touchdown, Sam Houston! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. What a massive play by this offense. Man, you needed it. Great execution. Now kick the extra point, tie this football game up late, or you go for two you go for the win you try to take the lead that is a new decision so you think this is automatic they need this one badly And no problem on that extra point, and we have a tie ball game here in the fourth. Here comes... 
comes the kickoff as we are all tied up in the fourth quarter. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Offense getting set for first down. Give to the back. At the 35, he's got room. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Timeout is called, and the clock is down to eight. Big play out of the gate to start this drive, and here they come again. Trying to find his man on first down. The pass is incomplete, and the clock will stop with five seconds left. Well, you know the defense felt freaked out on that one. You're in the fourth quarter, and you're lined up against one of the fastest players in all of college football, and they're taking a shot up top. You just hold on tight and hope for the best, and that time they were able to force an incompletion. Now on second down. To the air. It's Salter. He wants to go deep. It's incomplete, and the clock strikes zero, and we are headed to overtime. Four quarters, not enough to settle this one. We are headed to overtime. And these teams have played so well, back and forth, evenly contested game. How about a little free football, Jesse? Yeah, I love this, David. Free football and finding out which of these two teams is the most mature. Who can settle down now with the game on the line and make the big play? All right, guys, so here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possessions starting on the opponent's 25. And it's so nice to be on defense first, just to set the tone, to understand what you need. Try to hold them to a field goal. The offense knows they can do their job to go out and get a win. Just two possessions, Paul. We're like, you got to be at your best. Yeah, and I love the new rules, too, because in the third overtime possession, it goes to alternating two-point plays back and forth. Who's got anything left in the tank here in OT? And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. With a condensed field in overtime, if you can establish the run, it is a huge advantage. Big time advantage. You establish your physicality, come out the gates, put you in a positive way. Now I can play action, opens the whole playbook. Eight yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Off the bootleg, looking to fire. Fires to the wideout. Touchdown, Bearcats! They take the lead here in overtime. This dude is just slicing and dicing this defense into little tiny pieces. Carving him up, completely comfortable, knows exactly what he's getting, had so much success today. you got to find a way to make these quarterbacks feel more uncomfortable. The all-important extra point would push this lead to seven. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Now on first down, they need to answer with a touchdown. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. He's got it. Touchdown, Flames! They got it in the end zone. Now a decision to make with a point after. He has been surgical. Precision passes. Using the scaffold, the fine instrument, rather than the blunt one. And the defense has had absolutely no answer for it. Just, uh, he's been down their throats all game long, a step ahead, understanding what he's seeing, and just destroying this defense. Don't assume on this extra point. They needed to send it to a second OT. And they tacked on the extra point. Here in the second overtime, they'll snap it on first down. He'll start this drive firing. <laughs> And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball.
This offense has a second down play. On the option. Just a one-yard gain leaves him with third and nine. Quarterbacks generally, guys, we know, they're not as big and not as physical runners as running backs. So it is going to be trickier for them to break tackles. I like the idea of getting the design quarterback run game going. But moving forward, let's see if we can get him out to the perimeter. Big spot here, opening possession of overtime, and they're left with a third and nine. Quarterback on the move, still looking. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. These third downs, man, they're critical down in distances. When you have mobile quarterbacks, it's just so great to know that, one, they can get it throwing it for your offense, but two, if it's not there, they can take off and scramble and generate big plays as well. This guy now, because of his athleticism, he's got the offense knocking on the door inside the opponent's 10-yard line. They'll use the running game on first and goal. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Now on second and goal. Looking for a man. It's Salter. He caught it. And he wanted to score badly, but the defense wrestles him down at the two. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone, make them execute, and rally to the ball. 100%. Zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, and live to fight another down. Looking to throw on third and goal. Touchdown, Liberty! Got it in to take the lead here in the second OT. Wow, what a play. We got, we're going to need to see that again to make sure he makes this catch and gets the foot in bounds. That was a great acrobatic play, understanding where you're at on the field to make that big catch. Now in the second overtime, you must go for the two-point conversion. Off the play fake. Throws for the tight end. Can't do it better than that. The two-point conversion is good, and the lead is eight. They know what's in front of them. They have to answer that score with a touchdown. To the air on first down. Well, the quarterback can make a big play when he starts moving around. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. You can tell this is a pass. Play. He has his eyes down the field. He's looking to throw the football. But how nice is it when you got a guy like this that can scramble and go get you a first down? Just really hard to stop from a defensive perspective. And the Bearcats have taken it inside the 20. Comes out throwing on first down. Makes the grab on the left. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. Again, this is a running back that can hurt you running it between the tackles, and he's dangerous out in space. They like to throw it to him out on the perimeter as he picks up a couple of yards there. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Wants to throw. It's Watson. He wants it all. And he can't quite make the connection as he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity. And that's just a huge missed opportunity on offense. QB missed his guy wide open in the end zone. You might not get another clean look like that in the rest of this game. Third down in overtime. They have to keep the drive alive and try to get it in the house. Third down play from the gun. Looking to buy time. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. This is just so demoralizing. You want to talk about taking a game over. That's what this defense is doing right now. They are just winning in the trenches. They're easily the more athletic and more physical unit up front, dominating this O-line.
does the drama get any thicker. The offense comes to the line on fourth down here in overtime. Unleashes to the end zone. Touchdown, Bearcats! They got one score they needed. Now they need the deuce to send us to triple OT. I think the quarterback showed his head coach a lot on that last touchdown pass, the poise and the confidence. And because of that, David, on this upcoming two-point play, you might just put it back in his hands and let him go win it for you. Yeah, man, I need it again, right? Like these rules, I got to go for two. This is a clutch moment. Obviously, got to come up big. Do you trust him again? You worked on these two-point plays all year long, all week long. That's what you do. You know the rules. Now you got to go execute. They need this two-point conversion to send us to triple overtime. From the gun. He's got it for the two, and we're all tied up. And now it's all two-point conversion attempts from here on out. On the option. Now the pitch. They are stopped on the two-point try, and now it'll be up to the defense. They got the stop, now to win it with a two. Back to throw, it's Salter. Makes the grab over the middle. They can't get it in. Neither team can get the two, and we'll play another overtime. Let's do it again, guys, shall we? And we'll see just how far down the play sheet they have to go for this two-point try. They'll try to run it in. They got it done with the two, and now they hold the edge deep in overtime. So now they'll need to answer to keep this game alive. The give. They can't convert. A great stop by the defense and a game-winning one here in overtime. 